Peace. Rock out here back with another banger, back with another exclusive. If you're new to the university, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're returning, go ahead and hit that like and that notification bell so you can be notified when we drop bangers like this one today. I just want to say, don't underestimate the value of planting a seed. Sometimes when we're putting that good energy out and we're planting seeds and individuals, we're planting seeds in certain situations that we want to grow and we're not seeing it happen fast enough, then we might begin to doubt. We might begin to have fear. We might to feel bad for people not, you know, pointing us as we pointed to them, not realizing that the same day that we plant the seed is not the same day that we reap the harvest. So it's, it's, it's going to take time. Some people aren't. We have to realize everybody isn't. At, it's not linear. Everybody is not at the same level. Everybody is not on the same frequency. And until we all get get to that level where the collective consciousness is at that level, then it's going to be pretty hard for us to be moving in the same unit and moving in unison. So our job as light workers, our job as healers, our jobs as chosen ones is to realize that and to have patience and to move with empathy and to realize that we're pouring into people not to receive anything in return, but simply to plant the seed because we truly want to see everybody live in live, love and light. We want to see everybody in divine peace, love and harmony. We want to see the, the world come together and move in one accord. Okay, that's our sole purpose. That's why we came here. That's why we have lived throughout many lives and reincarnated so many times in lower forms and elevated ourselves in order to get to this point where we are right now, where the world is in this place where we're going to have to step into power and, and lead the, the way us back to where we are accustomed to being, which is being in an eco, being where we respect every form of life, realizing that we are reflections of each other, realizing that when I look at you, I'm looking at a reflection of myself and to I got to respect you if I want respect. If I was just as if I'm respecting myself and love you, or just as I'm, as I'm loving myself, and the hardest thing to realize is that it's gonna take time, it's gonna take effort, it's gonna take consistency, it's gonna take discipline, it's gonna take persistence to continue to prevail, continue to push through on those dark periods, and realize that it's 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 gonna take time and. It's not about judging or thinking that we better than anybody. It's not about looking down at anybody because, like I said, we all go through those dark periods. We all go through those low points where it's like we we have those those times where we are deep in the roots, when we are in that chaos, realizing that, seeing that, not really being able to see a way out. And we have to pull ourselves out or grow and continue to evolve and continue to change. And it's hard because the hardest thing to do is to look in the mirror and take accountability for our actions. The hardest thing to do is take a responsibility. The hardest thing to do is to look, in the, look yourself in the face and say, I'm not doing this, or I could be doing this, or this, that, and the third, which is, it's hard. Because who wants, who wants to tell themselves bad things about themselves? But in reality, if we're not our biggest credit, then it's going to be hard to grow. It's going to be hard to expand. It's going to be hard to be limitless. It's going to be hard to look ourselves in the mirror and take accountability for the things that we have done or the things that we haven't done. It's going to be hard to realize that we're not there because not because of anything anybody else has done, but because uh, I haven't reached my full potential. I haven't prevailed in the manner that I need to prevail. And that's the hardest thing to do. So I just want to say, don't underestimate the value of planting the seed. Because as long as we continue to water that seed, and as long as we continue to grow, it's going to flourish. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to expand into where it needs to be. And realize that it's not our place to try to save anybody. It's not our place to try to change anybody because people have to look in the mirror and try to change themselves. People have to look in the mirror and want to grow themselves. People have to look in the mirror and want to expand themselves. There's nothing we can do. We can't only take somebody to the lake. We can't make them walk between it. We can't make somebody walk their path. We can't make that. And that's the hardest thing about when you're trying to move in love and light Cause, because when you can see the truth, when the veil is off your, eye, off your eyes and you see the illusions, you see the lies, you see the attachments, you see how the masses is being misled, the one thing you want to do is spread the truth. The one thing you want to do is spread the light. The one thing you want to do is, support, is to pour into the world, but not realizing that, hey, it's kind of counterproductive because the only thing you can really do is change yourself. The only thing you can really do is lead by example. The only thing you can really do is pick and choose your spots and try to deliver the message so, so the masses can interpret it. The only thing you can do is take accountability for yourself because if you if we got two people in the, in the ocean and one person is drowning, if that person tries to save the person that's drowning and that person is panicking, then we both gonna drown. I just watched a video where it was like Nick was like, hey, every, somebody got, we only need to follow the person with the vision. 
And if you got the vision, you got to realize that it's not your job to make people follow you. It's, that's that's a, that's impossible to make somebody want to follow you. As a leader, it's not to make somebody want to follow you. The right people are going to follow your message. The right people are going to follow your vision, even in the wrong people. In due time, if they step out of that rut, then they're going to have, they, they it's going to be inevitable. Because if you're doing the right thing, if you're moving in love and light, then you're going to go towards where you need to be. So, uh. I'm going to just go ahead and end it there. Powerful message. I just want to say, I wish everybody divine peace, love, and harmony on all. If you haven't already, go ahead and grab your Supreme Tees. Pre-order is up on the market on, on vagarysfinally.com. And I appreciate everybody. Peace.